Hello Capricorn and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2023 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. So let's see what we have for our lovely Capricorns. We're going to pull some overarching energies and then look specifically at love, romance, relationships and money, career, finances and any other thread that comes out. Well, that's nice, Capricorn. <laughs> it's earth energy. It's a night that brings change. The, the, the night of pentacles generally brings positive change. Let's see what we have with that. We have <laughs> the nine of cups. Very nice. The hierophant. Five of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. Let's have a look at Love, Romance, Relationships first. What do we have for Capricorn? Thank you. April 2023. 20, okay, thank you. We have the Eight of Cups, King of Cups, and let's have a look at money areas. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Money, career, finances. The Hermit. And we have the Six of Wands. Let's pull some Oracle cards. Let's pull an Angel Answer card for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for April 2023. <laughs> big happy changes just like the night brings let's pull you a power animal card what do we have for Capricorn please for April 2023 angel spirits guides message for Capricorn we have swan grace Appreciate the beauty inside and all around you. The theme of appreciation is actually quite strong in this reading. Um, let's um, pull a message from Spirit as well. What do we have for Capricorn? Thank you. April 2023. We have strength. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction and a balanced body, mind and soul. Spirit has its own and unique beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we're always with you. So we're going to pull a, a Romance Angel card. What do we have for Capricorn, please? In Love, Romance, Relationships. We have your Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. Let's see what we have in terms of money aspect. What do we have for Capricorn? Money, career, finances. Message for Capricorn, thank you.
Yeah, successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships and other investments are available to help you. Let's start with money aspects here, Capricorn, because, I mean, the, the Knight of Pentacles is a really good money card. The Knight brings offers and opportunities for change. The Knight can be a solid offer, someone making you an offer in the month of April that may well bring abundant, solid, positive change for you. Uh, just a lovely energy here of, of new job, new business opportunity, new career, contract. If you're competing for other things like clients or business as well, that could be in your own business. Again, this can be that sense of funding coming your way. It could be in the form of a new client or new investment or new partnership in some way as well. It would be something that you'd be competing for though. Uh, so however this night is presented to you, you've been in it to win it. You know, and there's a sense of you win it, you know, in this month. So uh, the five of wands is really where we put ourselves against other people. It's we're in it to win it. You know, this is a card of real competition because there's a lot of passion and desire here to win. With the Hierophant, it's about having faith. It feels like you're being told maybe where you've needed to lean on your faith in times of difficulty as well. It can be a higher power at work. Sometimes these energies in particular can link with, you know, answered prayers. You've been competing for something and hoping for it, maybe even, you know, asking for help on it. This is the energy here where help is being given to you or higher powers at work and you're being told to have faith. Now the five of cups and the nine of cups Five of Cups can be, it can be linked with loss, uh, something, I mean, there's levels to this. The Five of Cups can be about loss, something getting you down. We can sometimes feel a bit of a, that sense of a failure in the energy as well. And it's really our emotions that, that dictate it to us with the Five of Cups. It's quite an emotional energy. This is, uh, with the Three Cups, something is spilt on the floor, you know, but there are two cups still full. All is not lost. And that's been the energy here. You've been in it to win it. You've been in it to, I feel, turn things around in your world. Again, something could have gone wrong in your own business. Something could have happened in terms of, you know, changes in employment. However, this manifests for you. But with the nine of cups, you're being told you're going to get your wish. There's happiness, reasons to celebrate coming your way. All is not lost in this scenario. And really, sometimes we overfocus on what's gone wrong, what's get, what gets us down, you know, what we lose, rather than where the potential is, because there's a sense that whatever this scenario is, there's something coming in that's going to bring positive change your way. And that's what I'm seeing here. This can be here, Capricorn. Again, it could well be to turning your own business around. It can all, you know, the answer to turn your business around. Just when you think everything's kind of like lost, there could be some kind of solution presented to you that's really bringing very, a lot of happiness and joy. Similarly, if this is to do with, um, you know, finding a job, um, this can be, you know, where something might be getting you down. Again, this can be linked with loss as well. Uh, it's not, all is not lost in this situation. There is the opportunity to compete for something and turn your life around because a strong sense of you're going to get what you wish. This is the energy here where there's an opportunity. All is not lost in this situation and there is absolute hope here in the form of some kind of abundant offer coming your way. Knight of Pentacles, you know, this can be a new job, new business opportunity, sum of money, client, uh, contract, investment, however that manifests for you. The Hermit. 
certainly an energy here that you've not been making this journey on your own. This is that really connected energy here, the hermit. Because the hermit is when we shine the light from within to find solutions, to see the light in the dark, to bring really that sense of healing, health, positivity, raising our vibration from within. All of that energy here is about soul searching, finding answers from within on what to do next. And you found answers, certainly an energy here of you found answers. And this is deep down, I know, I know what I'm doing is right. Deep down, I know I'm making the right choices and decisions and moving in the right direction. I just have to, that sense of surrendering and trusting here with a hierophant. With a six of wands, this is victory. This is a hard one. This is a, a, certainly a victory over challenge. Where you have been in it to win it, this is winning it. Really lovely energy here. And you overcome the issue or challenge that you have faced and you restore balance and equilibrium and feel pretty good about it. Because with this strength card, you know, uh, it takes strength to overcome our challenges. And that's what the Six of Wands is, is showing us. But by facing them, dealing with them, taking empowered action, we ourselves have the ability to bring positive changes and outcome. This is a significant achievement, victory, win, celebration. It's a, it's a really lovely energy here, Capricorn, of claiming a significant achievement, victory, getting noticed and recognized and feeling empowered because there's a sense of success with the six of wands and it's to do with an offer coming your way. You know, this would be an equally similar situation here in, in, in a legal process as well. I mean, the justice card hasn't come out, but if this was a legal process where you were waiting on the outcome of some kind of offer, this would be maybe there has been something that has been lost to you, you know, but you're getting your wish. So, and again, there is victory and success. So Capricorn, let's go into love romance relationships we have the eight of cups someone walking away turning their back on a situation going in search of something better because what they hoped was going to be the nine of cups didn't turn out to be that way actually it fell short for whatever reason that could be disappointment but I, I feel in this energy here, Capricorn, there's just a sense here of somebody offering you a solid commitment because they fear that you're going to walk away or turn your back. It feels that sense of crunch time in a relationship. This, this energy of appreciate the beauty inside and all around you I feel that this is about appreciation as well, appreciating your needs. Because again, the five of cups and the nine of cups, if I don't do this, I'm going to regret it. It's giving you your wish. There has been, you've been on opposite sides or on an issue, a fundamental issue. It's likely where, maybe where the relationship is heading. Because the Hierophant is all about, you know, uh, long-term committed relationships, marriage, the next traditional step on the journey, you know, in terms of relationships, deepening a relationship. But it's generally the next traditional step. So again, with the Knight of Pentacles being um, a pentacle, it's all about, you know, that sense of emotional stability being offered to you, commitment in terms of emotional stability. That could translate in terms of an offer on a property, buying a home, um, Similarly, it can be about greater commitment in terms of taking the relationship forward. This sense of big happy changes, a feeling that somebody, there's been conflict. But I, I'm sensing this, the five of wands, it doesn't really feel like that sense of argument. It feels more like there's just been an issue that you, you just haven't been able to agree on. You wanted one thing, 
they wanted another or didn't want the same thing that you wanted and you didn't feel like you were on the same page. But the five of cups energy with the nine of cups is if I, I'm really feeling if I don't do this, I'm going to regret it because they think that you're going to walk away. And again, this can be vice versa as well in terms of love, romance, relationships. Even if I take, you know, the hermit and the six of wands, it kind of carries the theme through of deep down, I know what the right thing to do is and it's to move forward. You know, whatever has caused them conflict internally or externally, the, the way it's resolved is to move forward and offer some level of commitment. And by, and by that sense, you feel appreciated and there's big happy changes. Now, the fact that the strength card is here, the strength card is all about facing, facing our fears, facing our insecurities, facing challenges, you know, and I, I feel this person has may have really been readdressing maybe even issues that they had to deal with and overcome, issues and insecurities. Could be from past experiences, but it's not limited to that. Uh, there's just a strong sense of, of the potential of having it all and losing it and realizing that if they don't move forward, there's likely to be regret. That's what I'm seeing here. So they're moving forward. This is in truth. And that's what I'm seeing here, Capricorn. So I'm going to pull one more card with the Knight of Pentacles. I don't know if this is, uh, I mean, there could be some ultimatum, but it doesn't feel too heated. It just feels like they want to resolve some kind of conflict and they, they know in truth how to resolve it. It's just that they haven't been willing to up to this point. It's almost kind of like that kind of battle. Unease. Not feeling that sense of oneness. One more card with the Knight of Pentacles, please. Yeah, you see, it's just, it's, I get it. We've got the Magician here as well. The magician is all about manifestation and I love it coming out with this reading because you have the power to create the reality that you want with the magician. You have all the tools at your disposal but it's all about taking action. It's all about focusing on the one thing that needs changing and taking action, empowered action, fully realizing that you have everything that you need to bring the desired change that you want. This can be about turning something negative to positive, ideas into reality, base metal to gold. With a five of pentacles, there's somebody who feels lack. Five of pentacles can be, it can be to do with changes in employment, changes in working hours, business, not your own business, not uh, being fruitful. You know, it can be all of that kind of thing. It, it can also be energetic. I'm not feeling valued, appreciated. Uh, worthy, you know, I don't feel good enough, you know, all of this kind of energy can be the five of pentacles. So this is the change, it feels like the change that's needed here, either in terms of money, or in terms of commitment. And it's happening. Because there's a strong indication here that this person doesn't want to risk losing it all. So they're gonna give you your wish. And similarly, very good energy in terms of money career. I mean, these are very, very good in terms of money career, because again, where you have felt lack, it's almost kind of like spirit is saying, nope, there is an offer that is going to bring the change, the big happy change that you want. And that's the energy there. It's really working your magic, you know. Final message for Capricorn, final message for Capricorn. Inner child, the fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. I really like the inner child energy because when we, can, when we need to deal with issues that are not easy, sometimes it's good to have that little escape energy you know of doing something fun silly enjoyable in another area of life that helps keep us in balance you know energetically 
We have celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out, dance and play. An invitation could be on the way, yeah. I feel it's an offer. Strong indication of, I mean, you're getting an offer here and it's it's a nice energy, the, the Knight of Pentacles. Solid, stable, abundant. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful April. I will see you next time.